this again, huh? You must be out of tricks. Well, since I am not technically on duty, I decided to take a shower. I'm pretty tense from everything for obvious reasons. Hot water really helps. Get dressed or don't get dressed, Lisa. I don't care. Your little uh, dog and pony show is not working on me. Have I told you how grateful I am that you stopped me from an irrevocable act? That you gave me a second chance at my life? And this is a new day. I have perspective. I regain my equilibrium. Robin seems a little shaky, though. Hey, wow, paranoid much? <laughs> She's lying. I never drugged and kidnapped her. I found her, passed out in the cabinet, and she ran away from me. And that was the last time I saw her. I had no idea that she fell into the well. I mean, I would never try and kill her, Patrick. I mean, you know that, don't you? I try to show you compassion, and this is how you repay me. I'm coming back to work. I'm trying to get my life back together. Half dressed in the process, right? No, this is great, Lisa. <laughs> It just proves that you're still unstable. And let's get something clear. You can walk around half naked in front of me all you want. But I will never touch you again. Okay, don't flatter yourself, because this is a co-ed locker room, all right? So if you can't tear your eyes away, then maybe you should find somewhere else. You shouldn't be allowed in this hospital after what you did to Robin. Okay, you cheated on your wife, all right? I know you feel guilty about it. I get it. But Robin is on the brink of breakdown. I mean, do you really think that enabling her is the best thing to help? Um, being carted off to Shady Brook for a psych examination was humiliating enough, especially the way people around here talk. I can only imagine the rumors that were started. It's not a rumor. You kidnapped my wife and tried to kill her. Okay, I know that you need to believe that. I'm sure it's easier than facing the fact that your wife is delusional. But the truth is, I never did anything to Robin. Ask the police. There's no proof to back up any of her oh, no, outrageous no, claims. No, Lisa, you've, you've already proven. You're smart enough to cover up the tracks. Okay, so not only am I a stalker, but I'm a professional criminal, too. I mean, come on, Patrick. You know me. No. I don't. I used to know you, but the Lisa that I used to know wouldn't kidnap my daughter. She wouldn't try and kill my wife. Okay, you need to stop blowing things out of proportion, because that is exactly what Robin wants. She started feeling insecure when she found out that we slept together, and that's when she started accusing me of all those crazy Don't things. Don't even try and make Robin the crazy one here. Don't even try and accuse her. I am not accusing. I am just pointing out that she's furious. Lisa, you left her in a well to die. I found her passed out in a cabin. I tried to help her, and she ran away from me. You're, you're, just, you're just lying. Okay, Robin wants you drowning in guilt and completely focused on her. And the sad thing is, is that you've played into it. You know, maybe you should look into therapy. It really does help. This has cost you so much already. Don't let her ruin your career, too. She was looking for a reaction when she got it. Why did you give her the satisfaction? Why couldn't you just walk I away? I should have walked away, but I was trying to gauge her, see how long she'd keep the sane act up. Well, the doctors at Shady Brookshire got it, declared her fit to come back to work, and there's just no criminal evidence filed against her. So as She's far as Lisa's it concerned, smart, Robin. She's trying to make you look out to be the crazy one, and I just, I just don't want people to start believing that. Steve has had his doubts. I hope you don't. Of course, I don't think you're crazy. Well, if Lisa keeps this up, uh, I might be. Don't bother getting undressed again. Patrick's already gone. Or were you coming back to trash his locker this time? Actually, I was on my way home, and I realized that I forgot my jacket. Excuse me? This little innocent act of yours isn't fooling anyone. You look tired. Maybe you should sign out. Get some rest. Don't patronize me. It's just a suggestion. Well, I have a suggestion. Why don't you resign from the hospital, go back to Houston, or better yet, to hell. I don't really care. Just stay away from my family. Robin, I haven't done anything to your family. You threatened my child. You drugged me and left me to die. No amount of lying can change that. 
I feel sorry for you, Robin. That is why I didn't press charges when you tried to run me down. <gasps> you mean when you threw yourself in front of my car? Just like you threw yourself at my husband? Robin, you need to find a better way to deal with your anger or at least own up to your part in all of this. Right, you're losing Patrick and it scares you. So you're acting out to try and get his attention. It is pathetic and it's sad. You ambushed my husband in your underwear. That is pathetic. Is that what Patrick said? Or is that what you need to believe in order to assure yourself that Patrick could never possibly want me again? Because he was pretty eager the first time. <sighs> and I'm the one who's out of control? The labs are back on the IAH patient. <sighs> Lisa's never gonna stop, is she? What happened? I laid into her. Uh, the more angry I got, the more condescending she was, and I hauled off and slapped her. How could I be such an idiot? Just when things were starting to calm down a little bit, she waltzes in like nothing happened. Of course, you're gonna have a reaction. Yeah, but I know better. I mean, I told you to not give her the satisfaction and to just walk away, and then I went and I did the exact opposite. Robin, I mean, she knows how to push buttons, okay? But we have to keep our anger in check, or she's gonna win. She already has. Lisa gets to come back to work. She gets to have a life and make mine miserable. And if that weren't bad enough, I just added more fuel to the fire and gave her something to legitimately use against me. I bet you she's with Steve right now, filing a complaint against me. You know, whose side do you think he'll take? So, uh, what do you think about this whole Robin and Lisa situation? I think it's a damn shame that we're talking about other people's issues when there's work to be done. Yeah, well, it's my job to make sure the patients in this hospital receive the best possible care. And if there's someone on staff who's not capable of giving it, I need you to tell me about it. Robin and Lisa are good at what they do. I've never heard any complaints from patients about the care they've received or their bedside manner. Can I get back to work now? I get it. I get it. You don't want to be involved in this, and I really appreciate that. But I also know nothing happens in this hospital without you hearing about it. Is there any reason to believe Lisa's done the things Robin's claiming she's done. Look, Dr. Niles is your typical surgeon. Cocky and confident as they come, she and Drake Jr. share that trait. But is she crazy? Not that I've ever seen. Robin made some pretty serious accusations. I've never known her why. Look, people tend to throw good sense out the window when they've been hurt, especially by somebody that they love. Well, that's the problem. Robin and Lisa both love Patrick, and I'm not sure who's acting out. Hey, um, <clears throat> I know I'm not technically supposed to be back on duty until tomorrow, but there's something that we need to discuss. The sooner the better. <laughs>